Remember those acorns and cows? We're ready to revisit them now. Yes, we are. What do they have to do with predicting the weather? Nick Johnston shed some <laughs> light on it all. For centuries, people have tried to guess what an upcoming winter may hold and have used a wide range of indicators to try to get a better idea. There's a lot of acorns uh, and the squirrels are very active. It's going to be a, a rough winter. I asked our Facebook fans what they had seen and the results were mixed. Heather said she had hardly any, while Mary said she had so many acorns she almost needed a shovel. But before you rush to the backyard with a calculator, biologist George Robinson has a different opinion. The extra acorns, that's the, that signals the previous year's resources for that tree. And trees have good years and bad years, and then that affects the mice and the squirrels. So I went in search of a different kind of expert. Animals are much, much more aware of their surroundings and the sense of the weather than we ever thought of being. We know the expression when something bad's about to happen, the hair on the back of your neck stands up. Well, the same is true of cows. It's their body telling them, I'm cold and I just need to produce more hair. They would definitely be the ones, just like they are now, in here lying down before a rainstorm, before a snowstorm. But as for predicting the severity of an upcoming winter? Not that I can say definitely, not long term. Definitely in the short term, like I said before, we definitely see those changes. All right, that was Nick Johnson reporting with uh, his um, entourage mm. of uh, various kind of offbeat <laughs> meteorological. <laughs> That's right, which we should point out, none of the people who work in our weather department use to make their predictions. <laughs> they do things much Oh, watch out for that uh, little woolly bear crawling across oh, the desk Oh, yeah. There. Oh, it's snow tomorrow. <laughs> Look, anyway.